So, I'm very excited. This week we've got two lovely looking Jaguars in for PPF and ceramic coatings. One of them is having almost a full wrap and the other is having an extended front end kit. For now we've got to prep the cars so we're going to take them through our clay barring process. We've already washed them and chemical deconed them, however it was quite bad weather outside so I didn't want to bring the cannon out and potentially damage it so I didn't get to film any of that unfortunately. As I said, we're also going to be applying ceramic coatings at the very end to both of these vehicles, so they're going to be looking so glossy, and I can't wait to see the owner's reactions for this one. But anyway, it's time to get onto the decon stage. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. So we finished the decon stage and the polishing stage. As you can see, we achieved some amazing results on these cars. Now it's time for us to apply the paint protection film. So the bonnet is now done on the Jag. However, we did have to do a, uh, a second piece of film as we've now taken the front vents out so we can wrap the film underneath the vent as it goes back on the bonnet. It just leaves a cleaner finish for the customer and it avoids having that line of PPF around where these bits would be. It also gives us a better opportunity to PPF this gloss black here. When I say better opportunity, it just makes it a lot easier for us to be honest. But while these vents were off the car, I thought it would also be a great opportunity for me to show you guys the self-healing properties of the film. So I'm going to do a little test patch on this vent. I'm going to scratch it with a copper wire brush. and I'm going to use a heat gun to then heat the film and you'll be able to see the scratches just completely disappear. This is why I love Expel paint protection film. 
Now you'll have to excuse if you see any bubbles on the film. It's nothing to worry about. It's just after you apply paint protection film, you need to leave it overnight to let all the liquid evaporate out. And I guarantee you tomorrow morning, all those bubbles will have disappeared. But for now, let's get onto the scratching. Oh, it always feels so wrong doing this, but. Now, if you can't see, it's a bit hard to get the lighting right, but I will show you closer up the damage this brush is doing. But there we are, there's the results of the brush. You can see the little tiny scratches I've put in there. I also did some on this side, but I don't know if it will show up. So now I've got the heat gun here. I hope you can see the scratches, they're just on the corner there. It's going to happen quite quickly, so pay attention, but here we go. And just like that, the scratches have disappeared. It's incredible, isn't it? So hopefully that should give you a better understanding of the self-healing properties of film. As you can see, the material looks like brand new again. Not only does it self-heal, but it also hides every single scratch on the panel that isn't through the paint, that is. And it really leaves that perfect finish. I mean, this Jaguar is a 2016 Reg and it looks brand new again once we're finished. But obviously not every customer is going to own a heat gun as powerful as ours. But if you do park your car in the sunlight for a couple of hours, the panels will, will, excuse me, the panels will heat up and they will in fact heal the film. It just may take a little bit longer and it won't be as instant as the heat gun. But for now, we're gonna crack on with this F-type, apply some more film, and then we'll get into the ceramic coating process.